Okay, hi, it's Terry with Covered Chipboard. I'm back with our haunted house, and today we're going to, or in this video, we're going to add our lights. Now, I'm using the LED lights. Um, if you're creating this, you've probably seen the post before, so I'm not going to go into detail about the lighting system that I'm using. Um, <clears throat> if you've just run across this video and you're curious, visit my blog and look for the haunted house videos, and it's in... Um, the first part of part three. So at this point, your house should be all glued together. Now, when I was doing this, I forgot about those who might want to use <clears throat> tea lights or another different kind of lighting system. And so it's gonna be, I've had to go back and try to work how you could get tea lights or other lights in here. And unfortunately, one of the things you're gonna have to do because there's a wall behind this front part the best way I figured out is to go ahead and use a craft knife and pull this top piece off. In the files, the cut files, I did go back and alter cut file, which is 1F, and uh, there's a link to all of the cut files in the uh, first post, or first part of this project post. And um, I've added an extra piece that will completely cover this top and has a little bit of an overhang on it because what we're going to do is make this top section here removable so that you could remove it, place your tea light inside and put the top back down. Now, if you wanted to, there's two ways to get the tea lights in the base part. You can either remove this piece that we glued down earlier, this whole top section from the overhang upward. That will give you access to the inside. Or, what would be easier, I think, is to go to the back, locate where all of your um, windows are, because there's a, 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 a flooring that goes here and here. So I would go by the center of your window, draw a line straight across with a ruler, and across the back, and connect back across this way, so that you've got a straight line and you know where the center area is. Of that floor is because you've got one two three floors once you get that area you want to take a, a small ruler this is I'm just eyeballing this this would be about in the center and you want to draw with a pen just a little line like this just a, a couple of inches and um, you might want to go ahead and do a line straight down this way. All the way. Because you're not going to see any of these this drawing on here. And you want to do that for each section. Again, I'm eyeballing. I'm using this as my... I'm lining the ruler end up here with the edge. And I'm going to draw around like this. And for the last one, I'm going to do the same thing. And what you're going to do then is take a craft knife. Now, I'm not going to do it with mine because I'm going to have holes here instead. Um, and again, this is only for those who are using tea lights or a string light system. So take your craft knife and cut along these three edges. Then cut all the way through. And on this line, just cut enough so that it gives you um, the ability to bend the piece. And um, that will give you a flap and give you access to the back so that you can then just slide your tea light into all three floors. Um, uh, on my post, there is also a, or on my blog, there is also a post about construction strips. And basically what it is, is a... Uh, half inch wide strip of construction paper, heavy construction paper, fold it in half, you put um, a score tape on each side, and then you would attach it here, and it gives you like a bond for that flap so that this piece doesn't come loose. Uh, these will again be covered up, but um, I don't think that I'm going to do the uh, um, siding all around the back. You can, you just have to remember to allow for that flap when you do your siding. Or you can just use straight black cardstock on the back, which is probably what I'm going to do because mine's going to be facing the wall. 
So I'm not going to bother finishing this back part. So um, that would be how you would get your tea lights inside. As far as these lights are concerned, we're going to poke a hole in the center to feed our lights through. And um, you'll need some regular um, scotch tape, masking tape, whatever. It's just to hold the wires in one section. And um, we're not going to connect the wires to the power source at this point because it's just too much to wiggle around. Uh, we're just going to pull our wires out and ha let them hang out there until we get done finishing. So um, I'm going to take this little tool and I'm going to poke a hole right in here. And you want a fairly good size hole because it's going to need to, your wire, your light's going to need to be fed through there. So once you get your hole started, and again, I'm going to do one for each floor. Now once I've got my hole in there, I'm going to use another Cricut tool and I'm just going to wiggle it around in here and see if I can get it a little bigger. Whatever kind of, I don't think that's going to do it, whatever kind of tool you could use, uh, a paintbrush, the end of a paintbrush will work. I think I've got one over here that's small enough. Yeah. So I'm just going to take this through and wiggle it and that will give me enough room to get my light in I think so anything any kind of a tool to poke a hole in and then let's see I'm gonna take one light I'm gonna feed it through there that's perfect once I get it fed through I'm gonna try to kind of bend it and then I'm gonna put a piece of tape there oops over the hole and just to hold it in place. Same thing with this one. Feed your light through, bend it, the wire, and put a piece of tape. You can bring this second wire down with it and tape them both. And the last thing on the third one. Poke a hole, bend your wire, bring these two down so that you've got one continuous line of your wires and tape them. And make sure your tape's down there pretty good. So that holds all of these wires. So now we have these all hanging and we're going to just leave them till later. For the wire in the front section, the easiest way to get that one in is to just fit it down, drop it down inside here, just kind of wiggle it down. Whoops. I'm going to use another piece of tape and tape it to the box. You're going to run it all the way across the top and down and back down to this first piece right here and tape it down. So now we have all of our wiring coming across the back. I think that's going to be okay. We might have to adjust this one when we go finishing off the back. We'll see. <clears throat> but for now, I might want to go ahead and put a piece of tape. Ooh here just to secure it extra good and one right here just to secure it some more now our lights are all set up and in um, as far as this goes it might be best the part that this all connects to is right here I'm going to take this off because what we can do is attach this when we're finished to the back and we'll wind up trimming some of these wires off so that you don't have all this excess. But we'll get to that again. For right now, I would just take your wires, 
set them like that so they're not hanging off everywhere because you want to be careful not to bend them and just add a piece of tape back there just to hold it down to the back for now and secure it that way they won't get in the way and the back will be the last part that we'll finish do finishing on but that holds your wires for now so now that will give you a wire a lights coming through here and here and again it's going to be not real bright not hugely bright and that is how you will wire your house easy peasy that's all there is to it um, <clears throat> so the next part we're going to be working on will be the base we're going to add a base to this and once we get the base on then we have um, a little overhang that will go here and the top railings around up here and once we get those done we can start adding our um, our finishing to the um, side of the building and the roof and then from there our final trim so it should be only maybe one or two more videos till we're finished so that gets your lighting. I'll give you time to do that. The next couple of days I'll work on um, the base and the front porch part. And I'll have those up hopefully by the end of the week. So um, that's it, I guess. That's all we have for today. Thanks so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the lighting section. And, well, I'll be back soon.